Recently playing through Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and getting to see one of my favorite games growing up have new life breathed into it has made me wonder what are some other games that I would love to see remakes for. And before I jump into my list, I'd be very curious to know what are games that you either recently have thought would make a good game if it was remade, or maybe it's something that you've been hoping for for years. I would love to see your list. It'd be fun to see where there might be some overlap and then where there might be games that I didn't even think of. I'm going to start this list with a game that I already think is actually still playable. I think that's a big reason why a lot of us want remakes is because while we still love and adore the game in its original form, we recognize that it is near unplayable now, either because of literal accessibility, there's not really backwards compatibility, a lot of people don't have the consoles to play those games, or because it's just such an ask. There's no voice acting in some of the other ones. The animation is very limited. There's a whole reason, a whole list of reasons why some games it's hard to go back to. However, this first one, Draken the Ancient Skate, I actually think you can go back and replay it and it still holds up pretty well. That said, if you could give modern gaming treatment to this game, I think it would have game of the year potential. It was already fantastic and I personally feel really ahead of its time and extremely underhyped and underrated. I've never met anybody who is a gamer in my life that even knows about this game and I have always said it was open world before open world was really all that known and it just had so many things about it that we love in gaming in general. It was really great. I do wonder if the opening taking a while to get through and feeling a little redundant and feeling like things we had seen before is what kept people from pushing into when it actually opens up. But if you don't know, in this game, you follow a young woman named Rin and her dragon. And when the game starts, you have to go through this somewhat swamp cave-like area. You have to defeat enemies. It's really easy to get lost in this area. And it's actually surprisingly challenging and quite difficult. But once you get through that area and your dragon shows up, you can actually ride the dragon. You can engage in battle with other flying mythological creatures. You can use your dragon and fight against humans who are catapulting things at you. You can go to different areas. You can explore this world. You can find random caves that have nothing to do with any mission. You can learn new spells. You can fight with different weapons. You can get new armor. There's just so much about it that it already feels like I'm talking about a modern game. And this was back on PlayStation 2 is what I had played it on. This game, if they made a remake, ah, it would just be the best. I already feel that in playing the Horizon Zero Dawn sequel, Forbidden West, that there was so much buzz about, are we going to be able to fly in this game? Are we going to be able to fly in this game? <laughs> and the fact that there was this game before that had a flying component, that had different elements to the gameplay, different means of exploration, and you genuinely found challenges that were worth trying to push through and overcome. Ah, it was great. I really need this game remade. I can make a whole video about why this game deserves a remake. But in general, this one might be one of the top ones on my list, despite the fact that the unplayability factor isn't really here for this one. Moving now to inevitably more Final Fantasy games. I'm glad that Final Fantasy VII is where they started as this is one that for a lot of people is what got them into the franchise or maybe they got into the franchise later on and then they went back and played it. That was my experience, but it's very iconic and it had so many twists and the the game itself, the story, there was just so many things about it that actually for its time were pretty inventive, even though looking back, that seems almost impossible to say, but there was just so much to it that really blew a lot of gamers away. So I'm glad that we started with Seven, but a lot of the other games in this franchise, I think, deserve a remake. For me, I would love to see Final Fantasy VIII remade, as that one is really difficult to go back and play, it's just its graphics aren't very good and it is not as iconic so i feel like there's less inclination to try and discover more about it but there was so much to offer about that game and its story as is the case with many of the games on this list but also many final fantasy games i unfortunately never had the opportunity to play final fantasy 6. that said I want to understand why so many people say Final Fantasy VI is the best, so I might almost push for VI getting remade if they were to make a next one. That's the one I would want them to remake. 
I've heard rumblings that they're wanting to redo 10, and I'm like, of all the ones, this is one of the most replayable, still stunning. The turn-based combat is actually pretty fun. The sphere grid upgrade system is interesting. I just feel like, don't touch that one for a while. Let's touch some of the other ones first. <laughs> and then maybe we can discuss 10 in years and years and years. I don't know. I'm always a fan of let's leave 10 alone. But I digress. Final Fantasy VIII, Final Fantasy VI, and a bunch of the other Final Fantasies, I would love to see get the remake treatment. Moving on now to one that is very different from the first two, but was one of the first times I really had exposure to a game that your actions contributed to what played out in the story moving forward is Way of the Samurai. I don't know if people know about this game really, and if you don't, I genuinely quite enjoyed it and was taken aback by it. The idea is that you have the ability to make certain decisions and there are these different rival groups and depending on your decisions, it leads to certain groups having more power over others and it's not always going to play out in a really obvious way. It's not like if you say, hey, I'm going to ally with you and then you turn around and say, hey, I'm going to ally with you and you're lying to both of them, that they're just going to be perfectly fine with that, you are going to find that there's a lot of consequences to trying to be manipulative. If you 100% side with one group, you might think that means everything's going to go fine over here, but things would play out in unexpected ways. And maybe it's just because I was a kid and I didn't have the foresight to think through what might happen. But from my recollection anyway, it played out in engaging and exciting ways. And it made it so that it was really fun to go back and replay it and the gameplay was quite fun as well. So I think this would be a great one to redo, especially because you're seeing, like for example, in the game Ghost of Tsushima, you have a mix of combat where you have your regular combat, you're navigating this beautiful world, and then you have these important decisions that affect side quests. Plus you also get different kinds of gameplay and different kinds of combat. So you'll have these one-on-one -on -one duel-like parts of the game. I think you can incorporate things like that into this, but really lean into the storytelling and decision making. I think a lot of people would really enjoy that. Not like, I, I kind of started Way of the Samurai in the same way, but this next one, not like any of the other ones, but still for me, one that I'm like, man, I just want to play that right now. I would, I would play the game as it currently is right now if it was easy enough, but I don't think there's backwards compatibility for this. And that would be XG3 Extreme G. <laughs> racing. I'm, I think that's technically its full title. This is a racing game, which racing games, been there, done that. I think there's a lot of arguments that racing games aren't really bringing anything new to the table. This was bringing new things to the table when it came out, in my opinion. And then I haven't really seen racing games do anything like that game since then. And it was my favorite racing game besides Midnight Club, which was a lot of fun. But this game, you are driving essentially these really enhanced motorcycles on these tracks that are absolutely impossible. They're almost like roller coaster level looking tracks where you go 360 and you have all of these really intense turns, turbo, you shoot at your enemies, they shoot at you, you have to balance out your health, your ammo. So as you progress through the game, the better you do, the more money you make and the better equipment you can get. You can get a new engine to make you faster, you can get better weapons, better defenses, and it was so fun. It was really challenging. I don't think I ever even beat it. <laughs> I loved that game though. And it was also fun as far as if you wanted to play with someone, you could play where the both of you it averaged out how well you did. And then you could try to progress together, which I thought was a really fun way to go about a racing game. It was so much fun. And the fact that you could shoot at each other, you could eventually get it where you had guided missiles, basically, and you could blow up your opponent. So sometimes you're neck and neck, but you're right behind them and you see the finish line coming up and then you could destroy them and that could be how you won the race. It was fun. <laughs> that makes it sound really dark, but it was a really fun racing game. Has anybody else played these games or know these games that I'm talking about? Please, someone know. But if you don't, check them out. They were actually so much fun. They were great. Now to a game that I feel really bad because for most of these, I've been able to elaborate on them, talk about the story, the gameplay. This next one is one that it's quite a bit older of a game. And I don't know if anybody else experienced this when we had games on discs that were several discs long, 
but I never got to finish this game because one of my discs didn't work and I had bought it used and I couldn't, I think I even went back to, uh, I think I went back to GameStop back when it was attached to Hollywood Video <laughs> and I think I found another copy and I think that copy's disc, I think it was the second or third one, also didn't work. And I don't remember the game well enough. I just remember loving it, being obsessed with it, and being so mad that I couldn't finish it. And certainly I can't go back and finish it now, because I think it was a PlayStation 1 game. And that would be Legend of Dragoon. Someone has to know about this game. Please, someone. It had a really intense plot. It had interesting characters. I think there was definitely parallels between it and the Final Fantasy franchise, but it reminded me in some ways of Seven with the characters and there being... I'm almost positive there was an element of childhood friends and now everybody's engaging in these really epic quests and there's a greater plot and there's twists and you don't always know who your enemy is or maybe you think you know who the enemy is and now suddenly there's an even greater danger that affects the whole planet. It had those really epic proportions and I was so into it and the fact that I couldn't finish it means that it's not as embedded in my mind as I would like. However, it was amazing. Someone needs to remake it, one, because it was a really cool story in general. I think modern technology would make it a really fun, cool game. It had a big world, so you've got a lot of possibilities with open world. And I also just want to know how it ends. <laughs> so for that reason alone, uh, but all the other reasons as well, I really want this game remade. The last one I'm going to mention is one that I've never actually played, which I know is kind of a weird reason to have it on the list, but similar to Final Fantasy VI, I've heard such amazing things, and basically I want to be on the bandwagon, and that would be Castlevania. I know there are multiple Castlevania games, so if you're a Castlevania fan, you can say which one you think should be remade. But I, like a lot of people, got introduced to Castlevania through the Netflix adaptation. I specifically really love the first of Netflix's adaptation. Nocturne, I didn't really care for as much, but I really loved the, the first one. And I know that some of those characters are from <laughs> those games, and I would really love to see them. I, I want to see them again. You know, I just want to be with those characters again. I want to get more into their origin. I think that would be really exciting and really fun. And for me, when an amazing game is made, I think it's actually stories in their best form. As movies, you know, you watch, but there's this sense of you're, you're disengaged a little bit, and you don't always, you know, know what the characters are thinking. It's a shorter format. Shows, I think, do a better job because you can really get into the depths with the characters, their motivations, the plots, the worlds. And then with books, you have all that, but it's not visual. You don't have the music and people's voices. Video games, it's got it all. It's usually long enough. You feel like you're there with the characters. You're exploring the world. There's just more to it. It almost feels tangible. So when games can be done exceptionally well, it's my favorite form of a story. So if I get what I already enjoyed from Castlevania from Netflix, but in game form, I think it would be incredible. And I know it already exists. They just maybe need to remake it. I think that would be great. That's it though for some games that I would love to see remakes for. There's of course tons of other games that I could have included, but these are the ones that I first off think would make really great games. But also I wanted to have a mix and a variety of different kinds of games that I think could be remade. Let me know your list. Like I said before, I'd be really interested to see what games you would love to see remade. Thanks so much for watching though. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you later. Bye.